Hey everybody, it's Wednesdays with Chasey Poo. I was just staring at Minu. He's looking right at me like, you gonna feed me? He ate so much already, like Minu, please. Oh, he's so cute though. He's so like, he's so girthy, you know? Like he looks like he goes to the gym. He like bench presses a lot. Oh, I love him. Anyways, today we're talking about legal weed. And I love that this is a random topic and I don't remember who came up with this topic, but um, it's interesting because I live in Canada and legal weed is a thing. Um, at the time of recording this video, it was legalized two weeks ago, but at the time of this video being posted, it was maybe a month ago that it was legalized. And let me tell you a little story, okay? First of all, um, there was a way to get medical marijuana in Quebec before, um, in Canada, but I'm just gonna talk about Quebec because this is where I live, this is the province that I live in. Um, you had to have like a doctor's note and then you had to go to a, a, a spe specific clinic and then you had to order online, it was like a big thing. But, and I don't, I don't smoke weed, it gives me panic attacks and anxiety. Last year I tried um, to help my anxiety with some like very high CBD, very low THC strains, but they it did nothing for me, so that was useless um, and expensive, but now that it's available like as re recreationally, like it's available as if like beer was available. And that's just such like a, like look at us, we're so progressive. Like I know that it's legal in Colorado and something like the first year that they did it, the amount of money that they had in taxes, oh my, it was, it was like a huge number. Um, that I think kind of pushes other states and places to want to do that, I guess. But it's something that um, our, our our Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, kind of fought for for a long time. He was like, I'm gonna make weed legal. And it was supposed to be legalized on Canada Day or something like that, but that didn't happen. Um, instead, it happened sometime in October, on a random day in October. So let me tell you a story. And the reason why I'm kind of going off on this really random tangent, this has nothing to do with like being trans or anything like that. Um, but I will say that I work at a uh, store and uh, twice a week at night and I was walking to work because I walked to work and I saw this huge lineup and I was like, what is happening? I was like, what celebrity is in town? Like what's happening here? So as I'm walking, I'm the line is gigantic, okay? And I'm wondering what's going on and then I walk by and then I see that it is a new store that had just opened the day before and it is where you can go and you can literally go buy weed at a store and it's government um, regulated. Um, like our alcohol here in Quebec is regulated by the Quebec government. It's called the SAQ, which is the Société Alcohol Quebec. Pretty sure. Oh my God, please God tell me that that's what it stands for. And uh, so it's regulated by the Quebec government. So the weed now is regulated by the, gov the Quebec government. Like, um, so the line was really big and I was like, wow, okay, so this is gonna last like a couple days. The next day I worked and the line was even bigger. I was like, what the, like, dude, what? So people apparently were lining up for like four hours uh, just to go in. And the thing with me is I was very confused because I'm like, why would you go and pay taxes on weed when you can get it from like a dealer or something like that? But then I was informed that they're doing very competitive prices, very similar prices than Street Valley because they want to kind of eradicate all of the illegal street um, dealer drugs that are happening. And I'm like, that's, that's pretty smart. That's pretty smart. Um, so anyways, the week goes by and I keep hearing that, you know, a lot of people are going to the weed store. And then I heard that, um, you know, the, the, the lineups were still very, very long. So the next week I, I'm walking to work, the line again, gigantic bigger than the week before. I was like, I could not believe, they had to move the, like it was ridiculous. I felt so bad for the storefronts beside that store because people couldn't even get into their stores. And then on Thursday, I walk by and there's no line. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to go in because I need to go to work. And the only reason why I would honestly ever want to go in there is just to see what they have available and how much it costs. Cause I'm very curious to see how the government is going to regulate this. Like I'm just very curious. So I walk by just so I can like peek inside. It's kind of hard to see inside. You can't really see anything cause there's like stuff. But I was overhearing the security guard because there was so many cops and so many news vans. Like NBC news was here. And um, there, there was cops helping people get in and out of the building, but so the security I heard say everything is sold out. So in the matter of a week and a half, um, like like nine days or something like that, everything was sold out. So we'll see um, if it's still sold out this week um, because that's just, like I'm, I'm not surprised because Montreal is a very, very big weed smoking city. Like everyone smokes weed. Like not everyone, obviously I don't smoke, but um, I, I, almost every single person that I have known um, through like 
connections or school have like done weed once or twice, you know, and um, Done weed. Wow. Sorry. I'm just I'm a little bit tired <laughs> and it's not that everyone's a stoner It's just that I feel like it's part of the culture here Like we even have a mountain the Mount Royal Mount the Mount Royal Mountain on Sundays There's the Cam Tams where people go with their drums and everyone just kind of smokes weed on the mountain and that no one ever gets like bad for that like it's okay um so it's kind of culturally part of this city i find for a lot of people who are younger i don't know uh, so now that it's recreational and it's legal it's very interesting to see what's going to happen like we even got a uh, email from the university saying that you can't smoke weed on 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 campus and we just got a letter in our apartment building saying you can't smoke weed in the apartment um because it's kind of like your your because it's legal, but it's not like, you know, like cigarettes in Quebec, you kind of have to smoke it, I think, like nine or ten feet away from a door or something like that of a building. And then, like, you can't really drink outside. I But I did see a couple people, like, literally, like, leaving the place and starting to smoke a joint, like, right as they were walking out of that store. I was like, man, and there's cops there. Oh, this is a whole new world. I never thought that this would be a thing. I'm just going to say that it, I think that it is a very good thing because... I think it's gonna be way easier for people who need it for medical reasons to access it because it was very hard, very gatekeepy to get an appointment and it was very expensive um, to go through this clinic and to get a prescription and to get a diagnosis and to get like to buy it online, like it was very expensive. So I feel like this would be so much better for people who need it um, for like anxiety or for chronic illness, chronic pain or migraines, anything like that, you know, like you would actually be able to access it. So. Um, that's why I'm curious to go in because I'm curious to know if the people who work there know a lot about the strains and how many different strains they have and stuff like that because even though I don't smoke it and I don't do it I know a little bit about it because I know that some people really need it and it really helps them So anyways, that's my long-ass video about legal weed in Canada. Have a great week. Bye